Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're going over to 6, 6, 7-5. Here we go. And we've got some micro Goombas there and we've also got some very fluffy blowy thingies here which you can just jump on to squish. Uh, they don't seem to hurt you or blow you away, they just create clouds to block your vision. And that's the gimmick of this level, a poopers. I would prefer to have a propeller mushroom in this level. Oh, there we go! <laughs> because what happens when you have a propeller mushroom is that you'll be able to blow away uh, clouds like that, or at least I think, or at least certain clouds. You get the idea! <laughs> um, there's gonna be more clouds throughout this area, and that flower is completely useless to me, so I I guess it didn't really matter if I hit it from that angle anyway, and yeah, you get the idea. And it does blow away the clouds, how nice. <laughs> and Micro Goomba! Oh no, one's on me, one's on me, get it off, get it off, get it off! And it's okay. <laughs> and this is what I wanted the propeller mushroom for, you can really clear out your path just by zigzagging up and down like that, and the very air from the essence of your being will make you move the clouds out of your way and stop the obstruction of your vision. <laughs> um, okay, let's just see what's in the P-Switch. Hello there. And... I'm not gonna get all these coins, will I? I don't expect to, but that's okay, I don't really care anyways, you don't get anything for those blue coin challenges. So, let's just continue on throughout the level and take a hit from that Goomba. Yes, that's part of the walkthrough, you're supposed to take a hit from that Goomba. Uh, what, you don't believe me? Well, how dare you? I'm the walkthrough guy, you should believe me, or, you know, sometimes. <laughs> so, as a fire flower, I definitely prefer the uh, propeller mushroom, but you gotta, oh, you gotta do what you gotta do. I betcha there's a P-Switch around here somewhere. I betcha. Betcha, betcha. Aha! Oh! Tee hee! And there we go. So that takes care of that one. And this P-Switch will make this area a whole lot easier than just making these jumps normally because uh, it gives you a lot, a lot of platforms to go on because of those bricks being, uh, I should say, the coins turn into bricks. And uh, you can clearly see through this, these cloud layers created by these cloud beings, so you shouldn't have much trouble. Whoa, hey, uh, wahoo! haba dabba zooba -doo -boo. I'm missing a coin. Oh, I see. Ah, I miss this little cutoff area in the wall here. Ah! Where does this lead? It leads to this cliffside area, and that's the end of the level. Yeah, looks like I'm regaining those lives back that I lost in the last part from playing dumb. <laughs> um, 97 lives? I was getting kind of low at 95. I was getting kind of worried there. Whew, it's a good thing I got a couple to bring it back up. You know, I don't want to hit game over. Okay, so I'm not going to go to the castle just yet. And, oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Well, let's see if there's something different at this uh, Lake of Two minigame place. Um... It's definitely different than the other one, so I might as well show this one off as well instead of cutting forward. As I said before, Lake 2's strength resides in the fact that the screen scrolls with him, or he scrolls with the screen. Whoops. I am not successfully bouncing on these blocks very well. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, I would normally not take a hit from that spiny if I would have jumped on those blocks properly, but yeah, you get the idea. And there's a bunch more mushrooms to add to my total! And now we go over to the dreaded 7-6. Why I say dreaded is because when I was collecting these coins, I did it on my first run through this level. Because basically when I went through this game to 100% it, what happened was is that I, I was trying to, to collect the coins on the stages even on ones that I did before, I mean not did before, excuse me, even on ones that I haven't completed before. So what happened was that I ended up trying to collect all three coins on the stage at once, and that really screwed me up on this stage, so I actually ended up uh, having the ability to use a super guide on this one. I forgot to explain super guides. When you die so and so many times on a level, um, you'll get the opportunity to use a super guide on it, and a super guide is basically a 
uh, a way to cheat through the level if you're having a lot of trouble on it, and you get the idea now. <laughs> so you can tell that these parabeetles, the smaller ones fly up, and the big ones fall down when you stand on top of them. That's the gimmick of this level here, and you definitely want a propeller mushroom if you don't have one, uh, like I do, because uh, you're going to have a tiny bit of trouble. Um, at least I think it will. Ah, oh, I fell in the hole! No! Uh, I forgot to mention something interesting about these buzzy beetles. If you jump on enough of them in a row, and there's a lot to jump on in this level, you'll actually get one-ups for it, just like that. Why would they do that? This is a stage based on jumping on buzzy beetles. This is probably one of the easiest stages to grind for lives uh, if you have any problems with lives because of that, even though the stage is kind of difficult because of the way that you could easily fall off these buzzy beetles, uh, flying para-beetle things. See so yeah, how you get the idea. And uh, the third coin is coming up. Remember the third coin was really tough to get without the uh, propeller power-up, which is making me question if I should, like... Just finish the stage, you know, aim to finish the stage, and then uh, attempt to get coin number three. Because uh, I know coin number three is coming up after these uh, giant buzzy beetles here, giant para beetles. Because you see, it's down in down in those clouds over there, right? Well, how how do you how do you get down there without taking a hit, right? Uh, maybe you have to use that flying critter there. And oh, I fell. That works, I guess. <laughs> I think I got an idea on how to get that last coin. Ride one of these critters down to that coin. Like that, and maybe not. Yoshi? You're here? Oh. Now it makes a lot more sense on how to get that last coin. Because you can use his flutter jump. Or just, you know, jump off him normally. Ah! Now it makes a lot... Well, there goes Yoshi. <laughs> it makes a lot more sense now. So... What I probably should do is just collect the coins. Uh, the first two coins, and then go through the level with Yoshi, and then collect the last one. You know, try and preserve Yoshi until the end there. Uh, as I said, I'm not the kind of person that uses power-ups. I prefer to use pure platforming skill. So, yeah, I'll oh, poopers. <laughs> well, I'll see when I get the other two coins. Oh, come on! Okay, we're coming up over to the area with the coins, so I've got a Yoshi this time. I still haven't collected those first two coins officially, but as you can see, I have on the um, counter up there. You know, it's it's that I collected them already in this run, so this will be hopefully all three coins in a single run. Maybe? There's that. And then you use Yoshi's Flutter, and there we go. Yeah, Yoshi made that a whole lot easier, even getting through this stage. Oh, I see, I could have went up there to uh, get to that other pipe, which will probably lead me over to a higher area. Um, yeah, that would have led me up there. I could just, like, Yoshi jump to get up there. Wait, actually, I could just do that, because I don't have to keep... I mean, I don't even need Yoshi for this level. I mean, I can't keep Yoshi between levels anyway, so yeah, I'll just do that. <laughs> And I'm back to 99 lives, wow. And this is going to lead you to a separate place of the castle. Like, if you follow this path and go into the castle, it'll give you a big shortcut in the castle. Just watch this, see that? See that pipe, I mean that uh, prana plant vine that came out of that chimney of the castle? Yeah, that'll lead you like halfway through the castle if you take it. But, as I said, this is a 100% run. So I'm not going to do that. 7-Castle! Here we go! And... It's a mega spike loaded castle. Whoa! 
Now that's the gimmick of this castle. It's more mega spikes, except, except this one is really, really full of mega spikes. So you gotta really keep your eyes out, eyes peeled for them. And uh, so hopefully I'll be able to make it through this in one piece without getting shredded into pieces. And that the uh, dry bones there didn't come back to life as quickly as I expected it to. Do you see that? I think it's because its head's head like fell off the edge, and that makes it come back to life a lot slower. And there's the first coin right up there, so I best get myself up there using the help of uh, Crunchy over here. So, there we go. There's one. And coin number two, if I'm not mistaken, is in a more secret place. Ooh, these are a lot faster. But that's okay, I got another power up, and just gotta keep my eyes open for. Oh my god, Sledge Brothers. Yeah, I, I call them Sumo Brothers in another part, but they're actually Sledge Brothers. Okay, wait. Um, I know I'm supposed to wall kick up somewhere to get the second coin on this level, or maybe it's the third coin. I don't quite remember. And uh, don't let these guys uh, ground pound either when you're next to them or around the area, because it will cause a shock. Boy, holy cow! <laughs> A shockwave that will cause uh, you to freeze in place, a little earthquake thing, and uh, yeah, that'll be a little bit of problems. And there's the, a hidden pipe that I was thinking of. That's why I was waiting over there, rather than moving forward. And we got this heavily clouded area, and be very careful when you move here, and pay attention to where the mega spikes are. You can see that there's a coin off to the right side there, and there's a safe platform down below right here. Ooh, I almost fell off the edge thanks to this block here that I didn't see. And I should be able to get the coin. There we go. And the pipe should be right there. Awesome. So that's coin number two. Uh, coin number three, as I said, I, is in a wall kick area. It's You have to... It's a, that was terrible timing on my part. And wherever there's a solid platform, remember this. Wherever there's a solid brick platform like this, there's a safe spot that you can duck at. Like, see where this arrow is? Duck here. Look at that! The whole screen filled with death. Boop. Just duck at those arrow areas and you'll be just fine. Run, 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 run! Wait, 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 wait. I'm missing the third coin somewhere, somehow. Well, I, I guess I'll be back here anyway because I have to show off where... Um, that vine leads into the castle, you know that shortcut vine? So I guess that's not too bad, since I'll be showing that off anyway. So, we go down the incredibly quiet hallway. The suspenseful hallway. To Ludwig again! This time we've got a, quite an interesting gimmick here. He's gonna spray his magic powder, but this doesn't seem to do anything at first, except it does something off-screen. What does it do? Well, it makes these moving platforms move, yeah. I guess this has to be done magically and not mechanically. Now, you'll notice in this boss fight, he's got the quadruple shot there, so you really gotta be careful where you're uh, trying to dodge this from, and really be patient so as to not take a hit from his attacks. And, well, that sucked. <laughs> okay, this time after coming out of the pipe from that second... Uh, hidden area. Okay, I, I guess going back there won't really help you. I, I thought maybe I missed something like maybe that they did that pipe trick where it puts you further back than it actually seems like. I mean, it, it puts you further forward than it seems. You know, you know, it, it makes you take a shortcut that you don't want to. That will screw up your 100% thing. And this is the coin. Okay, I knew I missed it somewhere that I needed to wall kick. So I guess I won't be showing. Oops, I I stopped. Stop ducking too early there. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess I won't be showing off where that uh, vine leads to on the outside of the castle, but that's okay. It's not really all that important anyway. So let's go face Ludwig. Trust me, you don't want to take that uh, vine anyway if you're getting 100%. You're going to skip a lot. So, yeah. <sighs> this time, let's try beating Ludwig. And I mean, try beating Ludwig. It's kind of funny here. Mario stands in just the right spot, you know, to, that the platform comes up from underneath him, that he doesn't get killed. Because if he wasn't standing anywhere else except wherever those platforms are along those three lines, he would be dead because there's a bottomless pit there. 
Yes, he would. <laughs> and now what happens after you hit him like that is that he keeps spinning around on that platform that you just got hit on. Now, what happens is that he then tries to drop down onto your hand whoops, from the platform that you're last standing on. And So this can be a little bit tricky to dodge. Um, I'm going to try and... Yeah, that works for me. Woo! <laughs> he is silly. And... That's the end of the castle! Woo! <laughs> this went a lot easier than I thought it would, really. I thought it was going to have so much trouble with World 7, but it's done. Over with. Gone. Hey, don't you dare mock me. Yeah, it's not, not going to be another airship chase this time like the last one. Too bad, though. I really like airship levels. Anyway, last level, coming up. Well, okay, second to last level. Minor spoilers there, because after you beat the game, you'll know about this anyway. Uh, there's a World 9 after World 8. So, yeah, World 7 is 100%. World 8 naturally is a lava world. You can't have Mario without a lava world. Come on now, man. And there's Kamek. Yes, not a Koopa Kid this time. Actual Kamek. So uh, I'm going to end it off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we start World 8.